Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here. And what you see here is the FQ777-124 micro quadcopter, or actually nano quadcopter. But look at this, have you ever seen anything like this? This is the first I've seen something so cool. It comes, this is the transmitter, and inside the transmitter, the transmitter is used as a case for the uh, nanocopter. It's inside there. Ain't that pretty cool? You can carry it and the, case, and the transmitter in your pocket and take it to school or anywhere. I know a lot of kids are going to want to take this to school. What other, another cool thing about this is um, it has a uh, spare parts case along with a charging cable that uses the batteries in the controller to charge the quadcopter out in the field so you can do multiple flights. However, using the battery, it takes about a th good 30 minutes to charge that quadcopter, so keep that in mind when you're out in the field. Let's go into a flight with this thing. Let's open it up. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Take it out. This is the quadcopter itself. This is the uh, FQ777-124. And if you look at it, more or less, it's a clone of the uh, Cheerson CX-20. <coughs> Excuse me again. A clone of this, uh, saying it over again, a clone of the Cheerson CX-20. Um, just about all the parts are nearly exactly the same, actually. I just got a little on-off switch, charging port. I think it even can use the uh, charger from the Cheerson. Um, but, again, it's a clone. So, let's try it out. Let's fire it up. Put it down on the ground, getting it ready. Now look at this charger, uh, or this controller. Um, this is your throttle on the left. This is your pitch and roll stick. It is switchable between mode one and mode two. And to do that, I believe you hold down this button, or actually hold down this button here, and turn on the uh, transmitter, and that switches between mode, or mode two and mode one. Um, it defaults to mode uh, two. And in default mode, this is your headless mode button and your one key return. And again, you know, when one key return we're talking about, it uses the base heading. And if the quadcopter is directly down the base heading and you press that one key return, it does the same as pulling back on a stick. And if you're in headless mode, it will come back to you uh, if you're directly down the base heading. But if you're to the right or the left, the quadcopter is going to go to your right or to your left. And if it's behind you, it's just going to fly further away from you. So keep that in mind uh, regarding the one key return. So let's go into flight with this thing. Um, I got the quadcopter turned on and binding the transmitter. I got a breeze coming from my back left. And let's see here. I'm, because of that breeze, I am going to want to increase the mode. We're going to start off in high and you increase that by pushing down the throttle stick. And the flip button is you activate by pressing down on the pitch roll stick. So let's go for a flight. Wait a minute, I didn't demonstrate something. Everybody loves to see the hand toss with this thing, with these uh, micros. Let's land it for a second. And demonstrate that it can, can indeed be hand tossed. Ready, set. <laughs> Now this has nice range for a micro, for a nano, I mean. I better bring this down close so you can see it. How about flipping? <laughs> How about funnels? So this is a great little quad. It flies. It actually flies quite a bit like the uh, Cheerson. Although it may fly actually better than the Cheerson. Look at those funnels. <laughs> and it doesn't have that silly drift that the Cheerson sometimes can get in the wind. This is a well-made little quadcopter. And I think it's only like 16 bucks. I mean, that is a real good competitor to the Cheerson. So, oh, let me show you me flying this. What's the range on this thing? Well, well past 30 meters. 
It has more range than the Cheerson. Let's send it up a bit. Wow. Holy moly. Has a hell of a lot of range. You're going to easily fly this. It's got a lot of speed to it, too. I was sending it that far, but I want to keep it close so you can see this thing flying. But take my word for it, this thing's got range. Hey, this is going to be a big seller, this little little thing here. Nice yaw rate. Oh, let me go back to beginner. There's the yaw rate in beginner. Here, let me bring it in close so you can see the yaw rate in beginner. That's the beginner yaw rate. And bring it in again. This is expert yaw rate. Beginner and expert. So it's two different yaw rates. Cool. I like this little one. And you can recharge it in the field. I like that idea too. If you're at camping or whatever, you can fly this a couple times at least. Depending on what type of batteries you're using. Look at that funnel on this thing. Pretty impressive funneling. I'm getting dizzy watching it. Really nice. It's This flies better than the Cheerson, I gotta admit right now. This is a better deal than the Cheerson too. I like this idea of the carrying case. You can take it with you just about anywhere to fly it when you're bored. You're going out in the field or that's not somewhere and you want to take a quadcopter along. This is a great idea. Whoever came up with this. Fantastic little flyer. And it flies in the wind too. I got a real strong breeze here coming from my right. Going right into the wind. No problem at all. Has no problem with the wind. Long flight time on this too. I've been flying this for a while now. Great little quad. Okay, I think it's getting sluggish now. So that flight time's probably almost done. I got a niche here. <laughs> Hear the wind picking up in the trees? It's flying in that wind. Okay, I think it's done. I think that's it. Are you blinking? You're not blinking. Let's give you another toss and see. No, you're still going. Oh, it's just the wind there. Trying to... It's sluggish. I think that's about it. That's your flight time. It's gotten sluggish. Where you at, little boy? There you are. Oh yeah, it's blinking now. That's it. So and again, this is the uh, FQ777-124. Really cool little uh, nano quadcopter. I kind of like it. I like that. I really like the idea of the carrying case and being able to carry parts. You know, you got your spare uh, props that you can throw on in the field. This also comes with uh, prop guards, which I didn't use because I didn't don't like flying with prop guards. And it also has little landing gears that you can put on this thing too, if you wish. I like to keep it light though. That's where it's going to fly the best. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this review. Quadcopter 101. I got a thumbs up on, on this one. Just like it's a uh, little picture there. <laughs> Side it out.